L-A-X. I don't know what's going on, but I was one of five people on the flight. I can't tell you how relaxing it is to be on a flight where you don't have to talk to someone about their kids or their kitten pictures. To make up for those good feelings, I wound up watching The Hangover 2 and the first five minutes of a Nicolas Cage movie until I could not take it anymore. Instead, I read a lot on my Kindle, flipping back and forth between comic books and novels and all this great stuff, and then I felt guilty because I realized that I wouldn't probably be able to make it through an entire flight with just a good old-fashioned book. That said, my mind is still wandering. I'm excited to see my family again, and wonder what adventures I'm in for. For instance, last time we visited Trier, and I got to see ancient Roman ruins, and then the house where Karl Marx was born all on the same day. A brisk 10 hours later, I find myself in the Berlin Tegel Airport. Unfortunately, I didn't change any money over before boarding a plane, so I can't buy any food now. Besides being hungry, my friend James, who's a producer, wants me to shoot a stand-up vlog as soon as I get off the plane. I've been awake for 19 hours, I'm extremely hungry, and I have no improv training. Zark, why am I here two weeks early? And where was everybody else? What? A few hours later, a plane takes me to Cologne Airport, where I hug my father and my stepmother before they toss my somnambulant husk into a car and drive it to the small northwestern town of Drivalda. It's a sleepy little village between Munster and the Emsland region that was repeatedly invaded, burnt, and destroyed during the Thirty Years' War. I'll get more into that later, but right now I've been awake for 24 to 27 hours. Food, beer, passed out at 10 p.m.